welcome to Heart Horse Dressage. I'm Bert Sheffield and this is my horse Feruza. I'm a Canadian Paralympic dressage rider and a Team Bombers brand ambassador. Today I'm going to take you through one of my favourite go-to exercises which is the neutral ligament flip. This exercise is just one of those wonderful fundamental things that helps you um, achieve a better contact. First of all I'm going to talk a little bit about the structure of the neck. The neutral ligament which is the ligament that we are going to be really um, focusing on in this exercise ties in at the pole and it runs all the way along the top of the neck into the wither where it ties into the supraspinous ligaments and um, the supraspinous ligament goes all the way along to the sacrum. So it is the connection between the pole and the top of the pelvis. We need to look at where the spine goes in relation to that ligament to understand how that ligament is going to affect the back and affect the spine. So the spine is going to run down here. It runs about a hand's width up from the point of the shoulder. So it's going to insert into the back spine, bit, the thoracic, about here. So it's in an S curve. The ligament runs all the way along here, but it has little finger-like projections which attach onto the individual vertebrae. When the neutral ligament is engaged, it um, takes these processes forward, which lifts the back. So the rider is then sitting on a lifted back and the longsimus dorsi, the big back muscles, are then not carrying the rider. They're not doing the job of holding the rider up. They're free to allow the energy from the hind legs to come all the way through the back, through the neck, hey, through the pole. Hey, come here through the pole to the rider's hand. So that energy cycle, the ring of energy is created through the horse's body. If this top system is slack, that energy stops under the saddle and the horse becomes a leg mover rather than a back mover, which in German classical dressage tradition, we're all about the back mover. The neutral flip exercise helps the horse to relax in the TMJ joint, which is up here, joining the lower jaw to the skull and the capital muscles, which join the pole, the top of the skull to the very toppest part of the spine. Then the neutral ligament starts to become engaged into the process and the back lifts up. You can really feel the back bouncing you up under your seat, even though the horse is not really moving. You can feel those muscles become lifted under the saddle and it is a really fantastic feeling. And often it is the first feeling you get of a horse actually starting to lift its back, ready to swing the back to have an engaged back movement. Good girl. When you're training a young horse, it's the first time you can really get into the back and get it to be where you want it to be. I'm going to show you how you ride this exercise. First of all, you want a fairly square halt. You want the horse's neck as straight as you can in front of you because you're going to ask for a tiny amount of flexion up here at the pole. So the joint between the pole and the first vertebrae it'll put a little tiny bit of tension through the neutral ligament and the ligament will flip over to the inside of that flexion. Some horses have a very dramatic flex and you can see the ligament just go straight over. Others are quite subtle. Wonky is quite subtle. I'm going to ask her for a tiny left flexion. So I'm going to keep my right hand still I'm going to lift my left hand. I'm not increasing the pressure. I'm just changing the angle of the bit slightly. And I'm just going to vibrate it. Tiny flexion to the left. Good girl. And I can feel the back come up engaged under my seat. I'm going to show you the ligament flip from above because that's probably the easiest way to see it. The rider can see it more than anyone from the ground. 
You've got a little right flexion. You can just see the neck is fairly straight, but there's a little right angle at the pole. Just a few degrees. I'm going to ask it to come through to the left. Should get a little flip across. There, a little flip across. Good girl. She's not giving me the pole quite as softly this way. There's a good girl. There's a proper flip over. Now I'm going to take her back through to the right. There we go. Okay. We always ask for this little pole flexion before we ask for bend. It is the first thing you do before you start doing something like a turn on the forehand. That way you've got control of the horse's shoulders. You've got a nice soft jaw. And it, it is so foundational, but it is often a missed out step. I use this exercise all the time. It's incredibly useful to me. I don't have a lot of arm strength, so I'm not into wrestling horses. I don't want to be having to pull horses around to achieve what I want. This gives me a tiny subtle exercise that opens like opening a window into the horse's body. I hope you find this useful. Please follow my channel on YouTube and I will see you soon. Bye.